Hey there, what is going on? This is Rob from PantherVision. I want to show you how to work with the, the free transform tool. Is that the one? The free transform tool. This is what it, what is it called? So let's select a shape. Let's go and select a rectangle right here. I'm going to create a rectangle just like that. And let's select this tool, free transform tool. As you can see, a menu just popped up here. Uh, basically, it has a default setting. With this, you can you know, adjust the shape, you know, make it long, more longer, make it more, uh, you know, taller or basically this is what you can do with it, the basic stuff. And if you select the perspective tool, this is going to mirror how you edit. It's pretty handy. Now there's another one. This is called the free transform. So basically you can edit uh, all the anchor points here it doesn't show us like an anchor point but basically it that's what you edit you know and uh, it's it's kind of limited because you you can't pull it inside you just can you can just pull it somewhere around to the edge you know until it becomes straight and there's another thing going on let's say i pulled it here and i can link this constrain basically so if i constrain uh it won't be you, you can't edit this freely so i can uh, pull it uh, you know from left to right but i can't uh, you know pull it up or down you know if i pull it up or down i need to go in, it's going to go in this direction if i pull it like left to right it's going to go in this direction so it's like really specific it's locked in there and yeah mainly this is what this tool does it's pretty handy it works uh, in few few occasions and yeah this is it thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates and check out the other videos as well have a good day